How to detect a counterfeit convert. There are many ways by which we can detect a counterfeit convert, and this is very important for us to discern. We don't want to judge people, but we do want to discern if what they are saying is lining up with the beliefs behind that which the belief system entails. Christianity has many beliefs that are sound and have stood the test of time. Uh, they continue to remain concrete based upon the Word of God, which we know is inerrant and infallible. We know that it comes from Him who cannot lie, who is God Almighty, the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And so when we're born again, have believed Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, and repented of our sins, we uh, enter into the faith and we begin to have a discernment that can only come from the Holy Spirit. So how can we detect counterfeit converts? It's very important to discern these people because many of them are bearing, bearing the uh, name of Christ, but they aren't fulfilling the call of Christ. Now all of us, none of us are perfect. We all know that. Uh, but there is definitely certain people within the church who come as angels of light to deceive, if it were even possible, the elect of God. Many people play the part, they go through the religious motions, but they have not been sanctified. They don't have the Holy Spirit living within. And these people can be those who say the right things, they know the Word, they know about the Word, but the Word of God is not living inside them. Uh, they are able to say what is right doctrinally, but they aren't living within those beliefs of the doctrines. They know about God, but they are, have not surrendered or submitted fully to God. And we can know about things without actually knowing what it is. We can know about the President of the United States based upon who it is for the current year and their personality of what we see um, on certain news out outlets and the like, but we don't actually know the President of the United States. And likewise, that can be the same within the faith. We know Jude, Jude warns us uh, that there are many people who turn the grace of God into lasciviousness, which means to pervert it, to basically use it as a license to sin. And we know that God's grace is not only meant to uh, cover our sin, but it's also meant to get us away from sin. We aren't, we aren't to remain in the same lifestyle once we become a Christian. There should be a sanctifying, changing process over time. And so likewise, um, when we become born again, uh, we should be those who see a change within our lifestyle. If a person's lifestyle has not changed, but they are claiming to uh, know God and believe in the Christian faith, then it is, it is doubtful that they have truly been born again because we know that um, lest we repent, we all will likewise perish. Jesus Christ said that. We know that um, if we claim that we uh, walk in the light but we still walk in darkness, we lie and the truth is not in us. If we say we are without sin, uh, we deny the faith and the truth is not within us. We know that there is a call to continue to progress onward. And this progression can only happen by God because we know that in order to live for God, we can only do so when God is living in us and living out the Christian life through us. And this happens to a life that is fully surrendered and submitted to God. And so those are just a few things that you can use to detect counterfeit converts, and they are all over within our day and age. And we want to give people the benefit of the doubt, but we also want to make sure that we are discerning if what one says they believe is lining up with the lifestyle that they are living. So this can only happen uh, when the Holy Spirit lives within us. We know from, as Paul said, it's not those outside the church who I'm supposed to judge, but is it not those inside the church that I'm supposed to judge? There is a responsibility to hold one another accountable. And we know from the book of James that if anyone leads a brother, uh, leads a brother away uh, from a sinful lifestyle, he has saved him from a multitude of sins. And we know that those who are wise and lead people to righteousness, uh, they will shine like the stars of the sky. We know that from Daniel 12, 3. So God wants to use us to be vessels in order to help properly direct people to him. Know that they are loved, but know that there is a call to deny ourselves, to truly take up our cross and follow the Lord Jesus Christ.